Hi, third graders. Today we are going to be reading about the Allosaurus. It's a North American dinosaur. In this book, we're going to discover the world of this mighty carnivore who hunted in packs of two or more and had a thick body that ended in a long tail. First, third graders, I want you to think, what do you already know about dinosaurs? A carnivore is an animal that eats meat. Hmm. What does that make you think about this dinosaur? Okay, let's start reading. Mighty hunters. Gigantic jaws fly open, shark, sharp teeth flash in the sun. A pack of dinosaurs leaps out from behind the pile of rocks. The dinosaurs are allosaurs, hungry allosaurs. They have spotted their dinner. Dinner is a big plant eating dinosaur munching on ferns beside a river. Its long tail swings back and forth. Too late, the plant eater spies the allosaurs. The plant eater tries to run away, but it cannot run fast enough. The plant eater is no match for the allosaurs. Allosaurs were mighty hunters. They were probably hunted in they probably hunted in packs of two or more. They were carnivores. They only ate meat, which means they often ate other dinosaurs. Allosaurs have big jaws and sharp teeth. Allosaurs' big jaws, jaws and sharp teeth needed a mighty hunter. Let's see if we can go. A chunky dinosaur. Allosaur had a thick body that ended in a long tail. An allosaur was as long as a freight train box car. Some allosaurs weighed as much as a small truck. Big bones and strong muscles made allosaurs powerful too. Third graders, I'm going to pause reading now. What have you learned so far about allosaurs? Whisper them to yourself, list them on your fingers. What do you wonder about allosaurs? What would you still like to learn about them? Allosaurs walked on its hind legs and had large bony ridges over each eye. Allosaur looked very frightened, frightening. It could rear up and walk on its chunky back legs. It was almost as tall as a two-story house. Allosaur could have looked into an upstairs window. Skull bones help scientists figure out. Let's see if I can move this guy. Skull bones help scientists figure out how what allosaur's head looked like. An allosaur's skull was as long as a yardstick. It's about as long as a grown-up's arms. Bony bumps stuck up over each eye. The bumps made ridges that looked like eyebrows. Looking at skull bones help art, helps artists draw the face of an allosaur. The better to eat with. Rip. Allosaur teeth tear into its prey. The teeth had a jagged like edge, like a saw. These teeth were made for eating meat. Allosaur teeth were two to four inches, five to 10 centimeters long. They curved backward. The curved teeth grabbed and held onto the meat. The teeth were set in big jaws like a snake. Allosaur could open its jaws very wide. The jaws gobbled up big chunks of meat. Allosaur could bite off 100 pounds 
of meat at a time. It could eat an animal as big as a police dog in one bite. Claws. Allosaur had long legs and back and short arms in front. These arms were too short for walking, but they did have claws. Allosaur used its sharp claws to help catch dinner. Each arm extended in three, ended in three fingers. Each finger ended in a long, sharp claw. The claws were as long as a ruler and curved like hooks. Allosaur clutched meat with these claws and ate by tearing off bites with their big teeth and jaws. Allosaur used its short front arms to hold while its strong jaws while using its strong jaws to tear off bites to eat. Third graders were pausing again. Take a moment. What did you learn? Whisper it to yourself. I learned. I learned. I learned. Now, what do you wonder about Allosaurus? Fiercest Jurassic Dinosaurs. Allosaur roamed Earth a long time ago. It lived from about 206 million to 144 million years ago. This time was called the Jurassic period. The land where Allosaur lived is now the American West. Allosaur was the fiercest of all of the Jurassic dinosaurs. There were more Allosaurus than any other kind of dinosaur. Allosaur stomped over rocks and sand in its powerful back legs. It used its keen eyes to search for the hot, dry, search the hot, dry land. Allosaur hunted along the banks of lakes and rivers. Big plant-eating dinosaurs munched on ferns and the leaves of trees that grew along the banks. They slurped water from lakes and rivers. Allosaur lived where the plant eaters lived. The plant eaters were food too for Allosaur. Allosaur lived near water where it could catch and eat other dinosaurs. Allosaur dinners. Any kind of animal could wind up at an Allosaurus dinner. Because Allosaur hunted in groups, it could bring down a dinosaur much bigger than it was. Sometimes Allosaur dined on Diplodocus. Diplodocus were the biggest dinosaur that ever lived on land. It was almost three times bigger than, the, than most Allosaurs. Allosaur also hunted a pat Apatosaurs, and Apatosaur had a long neck like a giraffe. Allosaur even chased big stegosaurs with stiff plates on their backs. The plates were made of bone and stuck up like spikes, but even those plates could not keep a stegosaur from becoming an Allosaur dinner. A fast runner. Allosaur left clues about how it ran. The clues were are in Allosaur tracks. Allosaur made the tracks when its big legs and feet squished into the soft mud. The mud hardened into stone. The tracks show that Allosaur legs ended with four and ended in feet with four toes. One toe pointed backward. The backward toe helped the Allosaur balance when it ran. Spaces between the tracks show that Allosaurs could have zipped along at 40 miles at, per hour. Footprints have turned to footprints that have turned to fossils give scientists clues about how Allosaurs move. Allosaurs fell a lot when they ran. Skeletons of Allosaurs show many broken bones. 
allosaurs fell forward when they ran, their short arms could not help them. The allosaurs broke their ribs and other bones, but that did not keep them from chasing other dinosaurs. Pause. What have you learned? I know, I just learned that allosaurs fell. I never knew that. Now, what do you wonder, third graders? Allosaur babies. Scientists have found fossils of allosaur eggs in nests. They know that allosaurs hatched from eggs, just like baby chickens do. An adult allosaur probably dug a hole in the ground and made a nest. The female allosaur laid more than 100 eggs in the nest. Then she covered up the nest with dirt and guarded the eggs. The baby allosaurs that hatched looked like grown-up allosaurs, just smaller. The babies hunted insects and small animals. In just seven years, these babies would be all grown up. They would be ready to have babies of their own. Allosaurs belong to a special dinosaur group. The group was called the theropods. Some theropods were huge, other theropods were small. All theropods ate meat and walked on two legs. They had hips. Like birds, theropods may even have had colorful feathers. Many scientists do not think all dinosaurs died out. They think that some theropods just changed over time to become the birds of today. An allosaur mother guarding her nest. There she is. Mm, did you just learn something? Discovering allosaurs. The first allosaur bones came from Colorado. The bones had become fossils or turned into stone. Fossil hunters dug up many bones in Colorado and Utah. They found that the bones belonged to many kinds of dinosaurs. One of the bones they found was part of a backbone. This backbone was different from the backbones of other dinosaurs. A scientist named the, dino named the dinosaur that the backbone came from allosaurs. The name means different lizard. Allosaurs slowly disappeared. They became extinct or died off about 144 million years ago. Other meat-eating dinosaurs took their place, including Tyrannosaurus rex. Fossil hunters have found many allosaur bones in Colorado and Utah. Third graders, thanks for reading that with me. I know I really learned a lot about allosaurs today. When you go back into Schoology, your job is to write down some information you learned about Allosaurus. So take a moment and think about it. And my challenge to you is to include maybe two, maybe three, maybe more facts that you learned about Allosaurus today. So think about it. Remember, expert readers go back and reread, so feel free to watch this again. Have a great day, guys. We miss you. Bye.